So I got my thermos, I remembered that today and uh, I'm going to, the weather's not all that awesome. It's been three weeks uh, since I did the last episode and I've been waiting, waiting, waiting for some good weather. <laughs> it's been good duck weather but not for taking photos or painting or anything like that so it's been a long wait and as a consequence spring is kicking in. It's looking beautiful at the moment. Lots of little flowers and things coming out. <coughs> Get in there. Old girls can still mount motorbikes. So we're heading down to the Ovens River. There's um there's been a lot of rain lately so I reckon there'll be a lot of water in the system and all the billabongs will be full so I did just decide to pull up here because this is one of my other favorite spots uh, with the gum trees and things so I thought I'd get a few shots here about going but I'm just taking some mental notes as I go along and just think well is there any other spots that might be suitable because I suspect there's going to be a fair bit of mud where I want to go so it doesn't hurt to take notes and take a look there's definitely a lot of water around Just looking at the uh, barbed wire around that fence, the gate, sorry. One of the most challenging things is actually like deciding once you get to a spot, what's going to be the painting? There's that much and then how do you crop it? How do you do it? <laughs> so many decisions, it can be overwhelming, particularly when you're first starting. It's taken me a long time to get used to that. 
and not feel daunted or overwhelmed by everything. Isn't it splendid? And that branch. Yeah. Alright, let's see if we can find a spot that's not too muddy. Okay, I'm already in the mud. I can feel it. Let's see. No, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you put the stand down and I don't always like just commit to the putting my weight onto the stand until I feel firmness underneath it. And then I very gingerly get off. Oh. This is really good yoga. Okay. I'm too short. Damn. <laughs> See, when you stand on the road, you've got like extra foot height. Or maybe not that much. It's finding that angle and you know obviously I can't stand on the road and that from the sound of things is a wet patch. <laughs> I can see water and I can hear the crickets so or frogs or whatever's in there damn it so what do we do what if these little potty cars are going to come and have a visit doesn't look like they're interested so yeah what to do because I want that tree but maybe I have to forego that tree and perhaps go for the one that's um, in the paddock Just looking back down the road to see what sort of wetness there is. Probably lots. So, giving up on this big old tree. Yeah, I think it's my biggest spot. Park off the road. I've got my gum trees. I wasn't quite happy with what was up there further. This is better here.
kind of like my intermission. They say to relax in front of the camera and do some random just like whatever's that's what I'm doing right now because relaxing and actually speaking to a camera as opposed to a friend or a person is pretty hard so just yammering like I normally do just talking so anyway today was pretty good fun like seriously I didn't realize that plenty of painting could be so much fun and bringing it out on the motorbike is definitely pretty cool I can park anywhere um, I still I still need to be safe and get it off the road obviously so we'll see what other adventures we have next time see you next time catch you later